Hello everyone, Isaac Segunro here, Optimal Training Group. In this video, I'm going to be adding a little bit more to our onboarding, our employee onboarding. Um, if you haven't seen the series, go in and look for the series. Um, but I'm, what I'm going to be showing you in this video is when a user, a new employee is added to the SharePoint list, it's going to create a folder in another library and it'll break inheritance on that library and assign that user, um, give that user access to that library. So for example, here is my, here's my employee, where is it at? Here is my employee onboarding list here. And so once that user is created in here, it'll create a folder here in this employee onboarding folder. So let me show you, so let me go ahead and actually just show you how it works. So if I come here and I say new and I give an employee ID, have a date here, uh, Okay, and I click Submit. Let me move this out the way. So now I have this item here, and then I have this library. So it's 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 churning right now. So let's give it a few minutes or a minute or a few seconds, I guess. Okay, so here is the folder. So there we have it there. So let's open this up. So actually right here, and as you can see, it broke inheritance from the library. So it has unique permissions. The reason my name is in there is because I am the site owner. I have full control, so I'm, I'm going to be in there. Um, um, and there is the name and the permissions they have. So let's go to the workflow and see. So let's come here. Uh, come here so you can see so these are the steps created you know it's all a success grant okay so let's go and edit so we can see what exactly I did so when an item is created this is um, how I started out my flow this is the trigger I gave my site the list library this is where I'm going to be entering the name that info that power apps form I filled it out there and I just, I created this variable just to grab the last name of the user. And you can do any combination of what you want. You can do first initial last name, first initial underscore last name, however, whatever combination you would like um, to create that folder. And then um, to have the, the, to create the folder name. And then I have this create folder, you know, and these are just, if you just click an action and you just click on create folder, there it is, create folder. So you'll see it. So let me close that out. All right. So create folder, um, the name of the site and then your folder name. So when you click your, when you check your folder name, and you run the, the workflow, it changes it to the list ID or the library ID. So don't worry about this. Um, initially, it was just my folder name library, which was just employee on. I'm sorry. Um, it was my let me go back here. It was employee employee on board and folder that was in here. And then the folder name that I created the variable. And so the next step is to break inheritance of this folder. So you have this and don't worry, I'm going to provide all the images and all the, the URI and everything um, below so you can have that. So I have, you know, site address, of course, the method is post and then here is the URI. So get folder by server, a relative URL. So employee onboarding folder, that's the name of my library. And then this is the library name. So that folder that we created up here, that variable, and then list item all fields, and then um, 
break rule inheritance. So um, copy rule assignments equal to false and then clear subscopes equal to false. If you put true, it is, it'll still break inheritance, but what's going to happen is it'll have whatever your, whatever access, um, or whoever had permissions to the parent of the site will also have permissions to the folder. So, but the inheritance would be broken if that makes sense. And then if you come down here. What I want to do is I need to get the user's email address because I am going to be, I need to grab the, what is called the principal ID so I can use that when I um, grant access to the user. So up here, it breaks inheritance. So nobody has access once the inheritance is broken. So right now, right here, I need the user's email. So this is how I do it. Get, this is the URI, get by email. And then I have this compose so I can grab the ID. So what you're going to do when you come here, you, you, you look for the compose compose, right? So you just come in here and if you just type in compose, so there it is the compose data operation. And when you have that compose data operation, what you're going to do is you're going to, when you click in here, you're going to go to the expression and you're just going to type in what you see here. So body, body, um, get by email, which is this right here. So it'd be get underscore by underscore email. And then you're going to put in D and an ID. So basically it's, it's, um, a JSON and then you're just grabbing an ID. So let me show you what the JSON looks like. So it's the JSON of this get by email. And then all you're doing is just grabbing the ID from the JSON, um, payload. I'll show that to you in a second. And then down here you have the address, you have the list, the, the, the library name where the folder is located and then the ID. So if you come down here. So you want this ID, see, create new folder, which is the folder that I created up here, create new folder. You want the ID of this folder. So it's right there, ID. And that's where, that's what goes in here. And then the recipient's email. Um, so you can, if you can put that, you put that, if, if you want to send them a message, you can put that in there, put a message there, but you want their email address. And then you can say whatever their, um, whatever you want them to do, whether it's edit, um, view, if you want something else spe specifically, there are different role IDs. So if you look at this here and you can find us over the web, all over the site, go, if you Google it. So this is for full control. This is for contribute. This is for, um, read. And all you would do is just, let's say I want to contribute. You just grab this ID. Well, I'll just, uh, let me see. You grab the ID, you come here and you do a custom, you do custom value and you just say role. And then for contribute, it's one zero row colon colon. So one zero seven three seven four one eight two seven. And you can put a message in here if you want to, but that's basically how you do it. And if I save this, save it and let's come back over here. Let's delete this, delete this, come over here, delete this as well. And then I'm going to start over. So just give it an ID that you make up. Um, use the same name. And let's just go straight to the email. So submit. So while that is doing that, 
Um, cause it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take a few seconds or like a minute before the actual folder gets created. So let me come back over here, and I wanted to show you this ID. So what happens is, let me come here. Oh, it, it succeeded. Okay, so the folder's created. But before I, let me, before I do that, let me click on this, and I want to show you. So if you come to this get by email. So this is the payload. This is the, um, the, the JSON, right? As you can see, it has D and then this is the ID that we're pulling. And if you come all the way to the right, you see this 108, this is the ID. And so that's the ID that the compose is using. So that's the ID of the particular user. And when you grant that user access, um, you're doing it here. So that's what's being used. And that's how, that's, this is right here. That's how, that's how you, it, it, it knows which user to use. This is 108. So let's go back to the site. Uh, let me refresh and see if it's here. So here you go. So folder. And then, and there you go to permissions. So what I've just shown you is just how you would create a folder and assign it to a specific user. In our case, the new employee for our, on, our employee onboarding system. So I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, please um, leave your comments below. Also, please like the video, subscribe so we can get out, get out to more folks. Thanks. Bye.